Well, good morning, everybody. It's Barb Katie here, and I'm so glad to see you today. Uh, this is a very special uh, broadcast for me uh, to share with you because I am in Canada today visiting my very good friend, Sandra Seidlitz, and getting to spend some time with her and her family is always such a delight for me. And I wanted to be sure that I... Uh, touch base with you, and uh, hopefully the, uh, later on this week, I'll get to go visit some of uh, the members in Sandra's chapter as well and get reacquainted there. Uh, being with Top's friends is just always the best. This past week, uh, quite a few of us have been chatting about uh, getting stuck. I don't know if you ever get stuck, but uh, sometimes I certainly do. It's just like, oh dear, what am I doing wrong? I'm not making the progress I want to make. What do I need to do to readjust? Uh, what do I knew, need to do to uh, try to refresh what I'm doing? Uh, how am I going to redefine what I am about uh, at this particular point in time? Can I get my focus back? I don't know if you've ever thought these things, but I certainly have. And several of us, as I said, had been chatting about this this week. So I went on our TOPS website, which is one of my favorite things to do because it just is chocked full of so many things that will help us as we progress through our journey. Uh, and this is a journey of a lifetime. It's not a journey for a few days, a few weeks, a few months, but even a few years. It's a journey of a lifetime to maintain and ensure your best health at every point in your life is a white lifetime commitment. And it's something we all need to make sure that we focus on in a real and important way. So with that said, uh, when I went on the website, I got to thinking way back when I first joined TOPS, what did I look for? You know, back uh, in the day, there was not even a website that we could access. Everything was printed material that we received, and uh, it took a while sometimes to get to us from uh, TOPS headquarters, even though they were so prompt in getting things out in the mail. It just took time. So uh, with that in mind, uh, I got to thinking about how blessed we are right now to have so many tools available available to us pretty much at any time we want to use them uh, for whatever purposes we may, may be needing help and assistance. And so I just typed in uh, beginning uh, in the search bar to see what I would come up with. And I came to this wonderful page called Five Weeks to a Healthier You. And it is just so good to see how top starts us off on our journey uh what tools they lay there for us to look through and think about and contemplate and tweak to personalize our own particular journey. And there were actually five basic things that they talked about. And in our group, uh, we have certainly talked about this from time to time ourselves. And the first one was how to track your food, you know, uh, keeping a record. Some people call it journaling of uh, what you're eating. And like I've always said, my body tracks food, whether I choose to or not, uh, just with the precision accuracy of the most efficient uh, machine there is. Uh, Better than a guesstimation that you might plug into the food app, your body is tracking every single thing that you are doing and ingesting and uh, burning up, et cetera. Uh, so that was one of the areas that uh, they talked about in here. And I got to thinking, is food tracking really where I'm getting in trouble? And I think sometimes for some of us, uh, that can be an issue. Uh, we forget to write things down or uh, overlook something that we may have just uh, picked up a taste of. And uh, you, 
uh, as I used to say, you can sliver a pie to death. You know, you can cut tiny little pieces off. So a sliver, it won't it won't count. It's not a half a serving. I can just get by with that. Well, at the end of the day, if the whole pie has been slivered and gone, you better think you're going to have to count that. I uh, so. No, I don't think journaling was really my primary issue. Uh, has been in the past, but isn't right now. And from time to time, different areas present different cha challenges. Uh, then they had another uh, component, a module, uh, on portion control. And I got to thinking, is portion control really uh, something I need to focus a little bit on? Are my guesstimations accurate? Uh, if I look at it and guesstimate it's a half a cup or a cup or whatever, uh, is it really? How long has it been since I since I've actually checked myself? Uh, I know with my boys when they were growing up, if they liked it, a cup was gargantuan. If they didn't like it, a half a cup you could barely find on their plates. I had uh, one son that really did not like green beans. And when he the plate would be placed uh, to take his serving, he would very carefully lift from the plate one green bean. Uh, one of uh, the other boys uh, loved carrots. And the joke in the family was, don't let Eric get to the carrots first or nobody will get any. So, you know, sometimes our portion size gets a little bit distorted based on food preference, our likes and our dislikes. And sometimes we just sort of add a little extra, oh, well, you know, is it really a level cup or is it a round, generous cup? That can almost double a portion size. And I got to thinking, I thought, I think I better get out my measuring cups. That may be part of the challenge I'm having right now is I'm not the best guesstimator in the world and I need to have a reality check on portion size. And uh, then one of the other modules that was in there that I looked at and was really uh very aware of was the uh, moves for my body at my age, given uh, who I am and what health conditions I may or may not have, you know, what can I do to stay active and keep my body as healthy and strong and fit as it possibly can be? And actually, I'm very proud to say that I'm doing a good job there. Uh, I Am a person that loves being independent. So being able to take care of myself has always been a high priority for me. And I will do the work gladly in order to maintain as much as I can my independence because I know how quickly we can lose that uh, even when we're doing the very best we know how to do uh, to sustain our, our ability to live alone and take care of ourselves. Uh, as I've told some of you uh, previously, I come from a diabetic family that had had a series of amputations among quite a few of our family members. And the loss of the ability to sustain independent living was something that I was always very sensitive to and aware of. So that's not my issue. Uh, and then I got to thinking, well, am I expecting it all to be uh, just defined by the number on the scale? No, I know I am absolutely not that person. Uh, I find victories so prevalent everywhere I, tur I turn that have nothing to do with the scale.
They have to do with my health in many different areas, but not just with that number. And I celebrate those non-scale victories, and I hope you do too, just as often as you possibly can, because that really makes you feel good. It makes me feel wonderful about the progress I am making and the changes that I am making that need to take place to help me live my most active, most healthy life. Uh, and then the last one was self-care. And that gave me real pause because I thought, hey, Barbara, where are you putting yourself? Uh, you know, on the priority scale, I think it's a, an important check-in to have with yourself on a regular basis. Uh, are you at the top of the list, at the middle of the list, at the bottom of the list of uh, things that need to be done? Uh, very often, many of us shift ourselves down the list. And where we are on the list sometimes is due to circumstances over which we don't always have a lot of, of control. Uh, you know, if there is a family member that is extremely ill and you're in a caregiver role and that is your responsibility, you may not be able to devote as much attention to nurturing yourself as you might do otherwise. And it's very important that we don't forget that we need comfort and care as well. And uh, I looked at that and I thought, now is a good time. Uh, thank goodness my family is healthy right now. Uh, you know, we've gone through some trials and tribulations, but everybody has come out the other side uh, and things have resolved themselves as best they could. So there's a time now for more devotion to what do you need? You know, what have you been missing, Barb? Uh, what's up with this? Uh, this trip is one of the uh, good things that I'm doing for me right now. It's to spend time with good friends and good company. Uh, since no one in the family right now urgently needs my care and attention, uh, that's a wonderful thing because it nurt nurtures my soul. And Sandra is such a wonderful hostess. Uh, she takes really good care of her guests. I just love coming to visit. And beside that, I have a special place in my heart always for Canada. Um, I love going across that 48th parallel so many times. And I can still remember the very first time I saw the Northern Lights. It was like at two o'clock in the morning. I was standing out in the middle of a field in boots and a red flannel nightgown with some of my tops friends. Uh, being amazed at just how spectac spectacular that light show was that was being provided for us. Uh, so it, it's a good thing to care for yourself and appreciate all the people that are in uh, your cadre of family and friends that want to help and support you in your journey. Uh, so basically what I came up with uh, is... Uh, my biggest uh, need at the moment is to revisit portion of control and get that back in shape and keep on doing the things that I have been doing that seem to be working good and to uh, appreciate and acknowledge all the care uh, that other people are willing to give me if I will just be willing to open up and receive the help that they offer. And isn't that really funny? You know, sometimes you're so locked in the caregiver role that you sort of close yourself off from help that's being offered to you from people that are quite willing and wanting to ease your journey along with you as you travel. Um, I'm Really glad I stumbled upon the five weeks to a healthier you. Uh, you know, as a new member starting out, what a great way to look at different aspects of the journey that we're on. And what a great thing to be able to 
re redefine what we're all about here uh, when we sort of stumble and lose our way or have gone off on a detour and to refresh our approach and to refocus on our primary objective, which uh, is to be the healthiest, most active person I can be each and every day and to live with joy and happiness each and every day because this is the only trip I get to take around the sun, and I hope it's a long, interesting one. So far, so good. It has just been a blast, and one of the reasons is because I have been associated so many years with all of you, and you have helped me make sure that I can maximize every aspect of the journey. Uh, one thing I did find after I had looked at each of these tracks, and you can see all of them are pretty short, uh, you know, most of them are around 15 minutes, uh, is that within each area, you can branch out into the TOPS website and find more and more support material if that is your area of a focus and concern for right now uh, so that you can go really in depth in certain uh, areas when you have a need and think about and tweak and re-examine whatever seems to be causing you pause or maybe uh, throwing a little bit of an obstacle in your path. Uh, that's one of the things I found so useful about our website uh, is the ability to expand your search and collect more and more vetted, accurate, informative materials and to hear from the voices of our other members who are so successful uh, and share their encouragement of us in our journeys and their experiences in their own journeys to sort of enlighten us. We're not alone in this. You know, we're a family, a fellow travelers on a life journey of good health. And I can't think of a better way to start my day than to simply look at all of you and say, thank you so much for being my friend and supporting me in my journey each and every day. I hope to be able to do the same for you. Have a good one and I will talk to you later.